Okay, so this video is if you decided that you were going to do the iPad on the back of the short stack photo booth or on the sides or all three. Um, this is how you set up the slideshow. It could be a little tricky. Um, even I had problems or, or difficulties with it when I first uh, um, got it, but now that I understand it, it works well and I love it. Um, so here's what you're going to do. First thing you're going to do is inside, built inside this photo booth, um, I have its own little hotspot. Um, Wi-Fi so you want to find that okay so you're gonna go over here and click the little icon that shows Wi-Fi and I called it photo booth click photo booth okay it's already connected because right now it says disconnect we're good so it's already connected the next thing you're gonna do is go to the back of the photo booth on the iPad and do the same thing so on the iPad you also want to set up to the photo booth Wi-Fi so you're gonna to go to settings, go to Wi-Fi. You're gonna find photo booth in the list, which it, mine is already connected because I've already been using this one. You're gonna select that. Now, as you see, there's no home button. There's no way to click the home button. Okay, so on the iPad to get out, you're gonna use all five of your fingers and you're gonna pinch the screen. So you just wanna do like that and it closes it. Okay, let me show you that again. All five fingers, pinch it. All right, and that's how you get out of whatever screen you're in. Um, on the iPad, I don't use Safari. Um, I download an app called Dolphin URL, or it's a, it's a browser. It's called Dolphin. And the reason why is because I can make that full screen for the slideshow. Whereas if I use Safari, you're going to have the URL address and stuff on the top, and it's just ugly. So download Dolphin browser. Looks like that. That's what you want to use. Okay. Now, let's go back to the front. Okay, so back to the front. Let's open up darkroom booth. Now the way the slideshow works is it actually, um, it sends a, a signal from the Surface Pro through an IP address to any other device. It doesn't even have to be an iPad. You can be in a venue that has a big a computer on a, um, on a projector and you can, as long as you can get onto a browser and type in the same IP address as the remote access on here, then you'll be able to show that slideshow. Okay, so open up Darkroom Booth. All right, once this is open, in the top right corner, it'll say Global Settings. Click on Global Settings. Okay. Now, in Global Settings, you'll see a bunch of menus here on the left-hand side. One of them is Booth Control. Click on Booth Control. So wherever you are, click on Booth Control, and you'll see there's a little IP address right here. Um, first, you also want to make sure that Enable Booth Control is checked. You'll see a little IP address here. That's the IP that's going to send the signal to any other device that has a URL. So I can actually go to my desktop and open it up and type in this. As long as I'm on the same network, which is Photo Booth, it'll live stream the slideshow. Okay. So this one is 10.10.10.1. All right. So now let's go over to the iPad and type in 10.10.10.1. All right, so now back over here, we're going to type in that URL, which I already have it there. So it's 10, and you don't have to put the HTTP actually, so let's just do it from the beginning. You can just do 10.10.10.1. And then click go. Now it's going to say precondition failed, no slideshow is being hosted. That means it's working. If you see that, that means it's working. Even though you don't see anything and it looks like it's broken, it's working. Um, the slideshow doesn't start transmitting until after your first session. Okay? Uh, the next thing you need to know too when once you're done with an event and you start a new event, You'll have this long number. Let's see if it, if I have the old one in here. Uh, yes. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like 10.10.10.1 slash event slash slash 19bb.a slash slideshow. That's its own file path to where the event is. Okay. When you create a new one, it'll automatically make a new path to the new event. I don't know if that makes sense, but what happens is, if you open this up, you're going to see that has the same number from the last event. You're going to click go and nothing's going to happen. You'll actually see slides from the last event 
and it'll drive you crazy. So the first thing you want to do is if if it looks like this and it has the long event or the long URL, just delete everything up until the actual IP address. So delete all that. So all you want is that 10, 10, 10, 1. Click go. See, now it'll say precondition failed, which is good. That's what you want it to say. All right, let's spin this thing back around. Okay, so we got the IP address. We put it in on the other. Now let's set up the slideshow. Um, you're going to go over here. It says back to events. Remember before that's global settings. Now it's back to events. Okay. If you click through the menus, you'll find the slideshow. Again, I already have this set up to where it works for me. All right. You can go through and change colors and all kinds of different options. But right now it's set to where it works. So just leave it. All right. So if you pressed, okay, so right now it's probably not going to show the slideshow because we haven't done a session as it was all set up. So if I do preview, oh no, it still shows it. Okay. But it's not going to start transmitting until I do another session. So let's do, okay. Um, let's do a new session. Start booth saying that the printer is not there. That's fine. All right, let's start a session. Hello. We'll skip Welcome her the by pressing the button. We're going to take three photos. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Remember, you can always skip her if you just press on the screen while she's talking. Great job. But I know you can do better. Five, four, three, two. One. Okay. And then again, you see how this is a little off center from the last video? I can adjust where the camera is. Oop, wow. Watch this. Those are some awesome poses. Are you see so if you're off center, Five, I can four, actually move this. Three, two, one. Okay. Now Thank you for using the photo booth. It did its first Thank session. So now when I go to the iPad on the back and press refresh, it should show the slideshow. So let's do that. In fact, I'm not even going to stop the camera. I'm just going to spin this around just like that. Let me just uh, come up here so we can see. It's having a little rough time focusing because it's white screen. All right. Now we have that 10, 10, 10 dot one. Let's press refresh. Wah! There's the slideshow. Right now I have it um, fading every three seconds. Now you see the URL still up there. I was telling you that the Dolphin app does full screen. So if I click this little gear, click on full screen, now you have a nice full screen slideshow. So it takes a little practice because you got to remember those steps. You have to make sure that you're on the same network. Um, also, another thing, you don't have to use that photo booth Wi-Fi. If you're in a venue that has Wi-Fi, you can use their Wi-Fi. Um, if you have a hotspot, you can use your own little hotspot. Um, I just put that in there just in case you're someplace that doesn't have uh, Wi-Fi. It comes with it, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, and again, that's only if you order the option with the iPad hole in the back. I don't put it in if you don't have the hole because you don't have a slideshow. Sometimes I even bring a 55-inch um, screen and put it up on a stand and I have a little uh, PC stick. Um, look it up. It's a full Windows 10 PC on a little stick. And I, I stream it to that. And then I can have the slideshow on a big 55-inch screen. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with this. Um, but that's how you set up the slideshow. And then also, every time I do a new session, it usually cycles through one full set of photos. And then it'll show the new um, pictures that were just taken. So people online, they can watch them. Um, while they're being taken. Uh, the ones that the guests that just got their picture taken, they have enough time to get their photo strips and come back to the back of the photo booth and look at their pictures on the screen. Usually they'll take out their cell phones, take pictures, things like that. So I really like the slideshow because it does entertain the guests that aren't getting their pictures taken at the time. So that's the slideshow.